Hi friends. In tutorial 9, I want to show you how we can use real data to our model. This tutorial based on tutorial skills. I copied model skills to folder tutorial 9. Yes. Just I uploaded to my program. Yes. Now I want to do some modification. Here you see a yes. Let me show you. And option, uh, if we look at the thickness, it's not so clear from here. Environment exaggeration, I make it to the three. Okay, now we can see uh, the thickness or the ground level or the thickness level is the same. Let us provide a uh, real data. I have this data that is bottle ID, X coordinate, Y coordinate, that is the ground elevation, the thickness of first layer and uh, thickness of second layer. How I make this point is a matrix and input to my mode flow. Let us do it. First, I make a difference sheet for each layer, that is the ground elevation. That's the thickness of first layer and thickness of second layer. I do some separation by surfer. By surfer, I also show you how you can do it. Excel sheet, okay. Upload. Okay, that's my Excel file. Open. I want ground data. Okay, that's my ground data or ground elevation. I have to save it as that file. Okay. Okay. Uh, from where? File. Save as ground. Il. Ground elevation, okay, but don't forget to save it as that uh, as that file. Save. Okay. Also for for other thick, uh, thickness and uh, thickness one and thickness two of the layers to the same thing. Open. Excel, okay. Which one? Thickness one. File. Save as. Thickness one. That file. Save. Okay. Also, the same thing for my open thickness to file save as thickness to also that file and that's the location of my saving files okay also i want to show you the location of the uh, wireless or borehole's post map excel data okay first one x yes Okay, D Y. Okay, that is a location of the boreholes. Also, let me show you borehole ID the above. Okay, I don't want to. Yes, I want to save this. Uh, 
the location in DX fi DXF file. So export. Borehole. And DXF. Okay. That's all. Now we have to go to Modflow and do interpolation to put in the program. Yes. Toolless field interpolator. Okay. Input file. I want. Mm -hmm. I have to go to Okay Ground elevation That's my data Open Here ground elevation but I provide suffix matrix matrix is ground elevation safe here also quadrant with the quadrant for Breaking. Variogram, uh, that is the most simple variogram program, provide it as default, it's okay, go. Okay, greeting 100% done, that's for ground elevation. Okay, the same thing for thickness 1. Thickness one. That's my thickness one. Okay. Matrix thickness one. Save. Here, quadrant for creating. Okay. Make sure 100%. Okay, good. Also, for the second thickness, here, open, yes. Thickness to open and name. Thickness to matrix. Is Thickness to save here quadrant data air sector for creating everything good. Okay, let us upload this matrix to our program grid topple of layer and provide it value matrix. You see now this time load matrix. Ground matrix is ground elevation open replace. Okay, you see that's my ground elevation. Okay, now if we check, you see how ground elevation changes, not all is the same. Okay, yes, for bottom. This time for bottom, bottom of layer, yes, for this layer, uh, value matrix is load, okay, the bottom, it will be the ground elevation minus thickness one, so I have to provide ground elevation open, Okay, replace, then lot. Okay, thickness one. Thickness one. 
open but subtractive i have to subtract it ground elevation minus thickness when it will be the bottom of face layer okay let us time check but for bottom of the second layer also let's provide it in the same way that is the bottom of the first layer okay Mm, no, we have to go to the second layer, okay, value, matrix, you see all minus 20, minus 20, but we have to change, open, ground elevation, ground elevation, okay, load again, Minus thickness one, thickness one. Okay, subtract. That's now the top, uh, the bottom of the first layer. Also another time. Okay, lot thickness two. Subtract. Now this one is the bottom of the second layer because we have to subtract ground elevation minus thickness one minus thickness two it will be the bottom of the second layer. Now it is good. Now if we uh, look at the side section of this domain, we have I think now we didn't provide the bottom of the first layer. Let us see. Yes, you see the bottom if the first layer is not corrected, so we have to change. Let's see. Yes. Uh, top of layer, bottom. Top, top of the second layer is not good. Which one is not good? Okay, bottom. Yes. Now it's good. Mm -hmm. I think we didn't provide something. Yes. Create, check, top. Yes. Top is good. Great. Bottom. Now everything good. Yes. Why it is good? Because we provide the top layer of second layer directly will be the bottom of the first layer. That's why. Now we see we provided correctly the data. Uh, the top and bottom layer of the two layers. Okay. Also, now you can upload another map. Option map is. Here you can upload the location of the board follows. Let's see it. Here I have, I want to put this one. But somewhat uh, difficult. Not difficult, but it takes time, consumes time. E. As you see, now I provided uh, the board for location. That's the way. Here you just provide the uh, pass to your file, borehole DXF, that's my file. Okay. That's uploading the location of the boreholes. Okay, that's the bottom elevation. And so on, you can find the bottom elevation and top elevation. Let's see the surface elevation. Yes. Grid, top layer. Yes, that's the test option environment contour visible minus 1.4 minus 2 to 1 point a point 1 Okay, that is a self elevation. That is a way to put 
uh, to make uh, elevation and then make interpolation, then create a matrix and upload to your model. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.